the beginning of the end for the Roman numerals started on the shores of North Africa. Muslim traders had been quick to adopt one, zero and co for their business dealings. By the end of the 12th century, the Indian numerals were in common use. And it was in the bustling port of Bijaya that the young son of an Italian diplomat based in Algeria first witnessed their amazing act. When I had been introduced to the art of the Indians' nine symbols, knowledge of the art very soon pleased me more than anything else, and I came to understand it. That young man was known as Fibonacci, and he was so knocked out by the Indian numerals that when he grew up, he decided to take them home. In 1202, Fibonacci wrote a book all about calculation, called, well, the Book of Calculation. He's now regarded as one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, and his book was pretty much a showcase for Indian numbers. Unfortunately, ordinary people felt comfortable with the old numbers. After all, they'd lived with them part of a thousand years. The old Roman numerals weren't going to make it easy for the Indian newcomers.